Yellowstone supervolcano eruption could consume entire mountain range when the magma chamber blows. Today's article on Express UK by Sebastian Ketley. Yellowstone is a supervolcano, and today, a few hours ago, it just had a 3.1 magnitude quake at Old Faithful Geyser, and uh, that's one of the biggest ones from the swarm that it has every day. And now Yellowstone Volcano is the power to instantaneously consume entire mountain ranges at once, scientists have revealed. This is after studying the power of Yellowstone's past eruptions. Yellowstone supervolcano last erupted at least three times over the past two million years. It transformed the landscape around it each time. The last Yellowstone caldera forming eruption is estimated to have occurred somewhere around 640,000 years ago, but we had a minor eruption 70,000 years ago. Now, this monstrous volcanic blast in what is the modern northwest United States in Wyoming shaped and formed Yellowstone National Park as it is today. When Yellowstone erupted all those years ago, the supervolcano threw up so much material from deep below the surface that the entire mountains collapsed into the ground. The terrifying prospect was revealed by the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. It was part of the Yellowstone Supervolcano Science Series. The series explained how one of Yellowstone's prior eruptions caused a single 50-mile-long stretch of mountains to fall into the volcano's emptied magma chamber. Can you imagine that? The U.S. Geological Survey scientists Jake Lowenstern said natural systems can throw us a lot of curveballs. A lot of things can happen that we're not really, really ready for. Quote, in two of the really big eruptions at Yellowstone, so much material comes out, entire mountain ranges end up falling into the ground and essentially disappearing in there. But the changes did not stop there because the volcanic fallout from Yellowstone's past eruptions was felt from coast to coast. John Westgate of University of Toronto in Canada, geologist who tracked the volcanic ash spewed by these past eruptions, said most of the United States was covered in ash fall. He told Smithsonian that it covered much of the United States. It occurred right out of the Pacific Ocean. It's even found in the Gulf of Mexico. Can you imagine this? Now, up in northeast Montana, there is a site we were working on where the tephra is over seven meters thick. That's over 21 feet high. That's a whole mountain, it's a hill. Now these eruptions are enormous and the amount of material erupted from there is huge. When Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, one entire side of the volcano collapsed, spewing out colossal clouds of ash, snow and dirt and mud. The ash then covered a total of 11 United States and even reached Canada after strong winds blew the ash out across the country. But even this catastrophic eruption is magnitude smaller than the destructive force of past Yellowstone eruptions. Now, thankfully, according to the USGS, there are no current indications that Yellowstone supervolcano will erupt any time soon, and neither is there any evidence the next eruption will be big enough to reshape the volcano's caldera. However, the agency said it cannot discount the possibility of another such eruption occurring sometime in the future. USGS said the least likely but worst case volcanic eruption at Yellowstone would be another explosive caldera forming eruption such as those that occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million and 640,000 years ago. However, the probability of such an eruption in any given century or millennium is exceedingly low, they said. Okay, they don't want to scare anybody, obviously, because this is uh, not just bad for the United States or the Northern Hemisphere, it's a world-changing uh, catastrophe. So I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.